Welcome back, little children of the YouTube internet site. Whoa! And we got some Zephyr. An irresistibly soft and airy confectionery made from whipped twilight apple puree. Chicken would like that. Chicken fettuccine or fet fettuccine, right? Yeah, both of us, all three of us would like that, I yeah. think. Golden pineapple juice. Uh, I, I'd probably take that one. What's this, lemon I'd muffin? Huh. Probably go for the chicken fettuccine. <laughs> But pineapple's my favorite. I love pineapple. Pineapple's my favorite fruit, and I love pineapple. And I love juice in general. You're the player of this yeah. episode, so... Do you, would you try a lemon muffin? Yeah. I would. Whoops. I'm as a long new. as it tastes like lemonade. I don't know. What is lemon? Is it just lemon juice and sugar and water, and you call it a day? I think for the most part... Where's Alize? In Gridania. But I absolutely love lemonade. I like my lemonade to be more tart. I hate lemonades, like Donald Duck lemonade, that tastes like I'm just drinking a vat of sugar with a little Donald bit of Donald Duck lemon. lemonade? What's that? Is you know that from Disney? You know how there's Donald Duck orange juice? No. Oh, you didn't know that? No, what are you, you know, going on about? There's Donald Duck branded juices. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I bought a Donald Duck branded lemonade, and it tasted like I was drinking a vat of sugar with just a little bit of lemon flavor. I was like, nope, I don't like this lemonade. Is, what, is it just overpowered by sugar? Yeah. Oh. My dad used to love Donald Duck orange juice. Do you want to have a Donald Duck pizza? No. <laughs> Speak with Frixio at Little Souls. Next time you go to the store, see if you can find Donald Duck orange juice. I'll try. I've never seen it before. Donald Duck orange juice is good. But not their lemonade. What about a Donald Duck gaming PC? Actually, I'm just gonna look it up for you real quick. Since you're just kind of walking around. I anyways. picked random and I got Yol. Yol! I am flying. Tyler, it's Frixio! Oh, we know this song. This is the box I remember. This is the cart. Huh, I've never seen it. One time, my parents bought it, and on the back was an ad for that Disney Infinity, I think it was called. The Toys to Life game that Disney yeah, tried making. Yeah, Infinity, yep. Yeah, they had an ad for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a little comic strip. Quite a hurry, it seems. You must come quickly. What? What's going on? You can't. A twin at her office? A Charlian has sent an envoy, which is due to arrive in Gordani any moment. This will be important. They requested both of them to be there. Someone called uh, Fortunalt Louvier. Their last name's Louvier, so. Yeah, it must be a relative. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna see their dad! Whoa! We've never heard about their parents, only their grandparent, their granddad. The one who stopped Bahamut and sacrificed himself. Louis Swa Louvier. Oh, it's usually only their mother that replies. Hmm. But their dad is coming, Tyler. Their dad is the envoy. Watch him look exactly the same, just tall. <laughs> just nothing at all. <laughs> Literally copy-paste, stretch, <laughs> stretch, there you go. This is their dad. Go, go, go! Different outfit, obviously. Okay. It'd be interesting if their parents both had the same hairstyles as them, too, though. That'd be wicked. This is our family heirloom hairstyle. Yeah. Okay, let's let's go see their dad. Same hairstyle, but they grew it out longer, so it's almost touching the floor. Oh boy, that's long. 
That'd be annoyingly long. The longest hairstyle I've ever seen someone have in real life is down to their ankles. I was at a Chinese Dang. restaurant and I was I was just a kid, and I, it was a buffet and I saw the woman stand up at the buffet and her hair was perfectly straight and went down to her ankles. It was crazy. Where am I going? Johanna, how does that sound to you? What? Hair down to your ankles. That's the longest hair I've ever seen someone have in real life, like in person, yeah. not the internet. The you can't I've... even do this length. <laughs> The longest I've seen is down to the butt. Oh. Just covering it or just to the waist? Uh, below the butt. So oh, that's, that's still pretty long. Well, enough about butts. Let's talk to Connie Sena. She's butts. pretty cool. It's not you. Just to be stupid. <coughs> Bless, you. Bless you. Thank you. Connie He Sena. shall be arriving soon. Johanna, we're going to see their parents. Their dad. Alpha Nose and Alize's dad. For the first time ever. Oh, is this him? Yes. He does have their hairstyle. Well, it's white. It's the same color. It's all ponytail. Ooh. There he is. Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting. They just use his last name. I am oh no, never mind. Right. That's his first name. The last name is Levy. Yeah. Levier. yeah. City is representative. Before. His hairstyle's not the same, it but it's similar. Thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. Hello, Dad. It has been too long, Father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourself. I believe, I think, I'm going to assume mom. that's their mom's name. Millions. How is mother? Yep. That means he's the only one of the four that doesn't start with an A. Of course. Yeah. But is otherwise a picture of health. How's Johanna's health? A picture of health. Oh, that's good. Good. You should say that next <laughs> time your dad asks or something. How's Johanna? She is the picture of health. has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louis Wyatt, during his sojourn in Eorzea. There he is. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. Uh-oh. And my position remains unchanged. So you came here just to say that? Uh-oh. What a jerk. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life, who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Galian Empire. for what reason the Forum has come to this decision. The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. The final days? Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. If the final days were truly upon us, we. Oh, so Charlene is just underestimating the situation. Sounds like it. Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. 
We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlie. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But I see now that Beorzia has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? He's the one weird one. Yeah. For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. Um... Which one, Tyler? I'd say the second one. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike her, you should know better. Because <laughs> you're from Charlian. Those I kids are from Charlian. Barbaric notions. You subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. This dad's gone crazy. What? He's just a jerk. Father, how you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Well, hopefully their mother will be more reasonable. While Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Bye bye. What a good guy. He's a real jerk. Father, wait! Don't bother, Alize. How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? It's gonna scratch a bug. <laughs> leather, leather sounds. Yeah. Well, hopefully, when we go to Charlian, their mother will be more understanding, huh, Tyler? There to confirm that's part of the. Expansion? Yeah, you go to Charlene and Garlemald. That's all we know, though. It's okay, Tyler. I still think they're Louviers, okay? You can't just take your last name like that, I think. If he's gonna be a jerk about it, then I would get a new last name, anyways. Wow, <laughs> but they have a cool last name. What if uh, your dad was like. You're not a hardy anymore. Yes, you am. Shut up. <laughs> you can't just say it and it happens. You gotta do a lot of legal paperwork. <laughs> not back in their world, though. Not in Aorzea, I think. Or Charlian. Has he arrived yet? He just left after he did a bunch of crap. My efforts were in vain. What are we going to do, Tyler? I guess Charlian's no good, Tyler. 
We're on our own. Knife edge, huh? I've always wanted to visit Charlian because we've heard about it the whole game. Yeah. Albeit in less than happy circumstances. Yep, we're on our own. They might have to learn, find out the hard way, huh? Give me that yeah. pineapple juice! Man, their father... Mine. He's a real piece of work. He's a stubborn little hoot. In the next episode, we'll finish this game. What? Bye! Bye. Goodbye.